Nothing represents the true spirit of what baseball is really about than the minor leagues. Some of the best fans in the world are minor league baseball fans. Bull Durham with Kevin Costner very much accurately represents what the minor leagues are about. It's a struggle. It's no glamour. It's not like the major leagues. You're staying in crappy hotels. You're playing on horrible fields. You have buses that break down. It's the true American dream. And some of the funniest stories and party stories come out of the minor leagues. So today's video, we're going to be presenting to you some funny minor league team names, mascots, and stories. Baseball News Club presents funny minor league teams. Hi, my name is Chris. I'm going to need you to subscribe and follow. Please like and comment on the video. Now to start off, I'm not going to go over like the most famous minor league teams and whatnot. I'm just going to go over some of the ones I like. Starting with the New Orleans Baby Cakes. Really funny name and their mascot is the creepy part. It looks like something straight out of a Chucky movie. Just not a good design idea, but really cool minor league name. Next minor league team will be the Lansing Lugnuts. And, you know, I love minor league mascots. He's got lug nuts in his nose. Then you've got the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp. You can't tell me going to the game you're not going to enjoy a bunch of shrimp. Cool mascot. And then we also stain with seafood. we got the Hickory Crawdads. Now, this one I like a lot. That would be a kick-ass t-shirt right there. And, of course, they've got really cool mascots, just like most of them. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is the Traverse City Beach Bums. They folded in 2018 in the Frontier League, and then the Traverse City Pit Spitters took over, and Marty is the mascot. Now, I love the hot sauce packet, but that kind of looks like a cousin to the Philly Fanatic. Um... You know, let me know in the comments what you think. Marty the mascot. Next, we have the flying chancas. Now, what I love about this is look at this sandals for a t shirt. And even better, the mascots. You got Balapino on the left and Mamo Pino on the right. Awesome. Again, with the names Chesapeake Kangrios Phantasmas. It's a pretty kick ass hat. And then moving on to Round Rock Chupacabras. Now, I like the uniform a lot. I like the design. Um, you can't tell me this hat wouldn't be a kick-ass hat to wear. Really like that one. And then moving on to Bowling Green Hot Rods. Now, you're never going to guess their mascot. It's Grease Monkey, Roscoe. It's pretty awesome, actually. And then you got the Colorado Sky Sox Baseball. Um, I just like the name. Quad City River Bandits. You should check out their mascot. That's Rascal. That's a pretty cool mascot. Nice-looking stadium with the bridge in the background. Now here's one for you cosplay fans. This is a Richmond Flying Squirrels and this is the mascot straight out of cosplay. He's got the little muscle shirt flexing during the game and for five bucks they'll actually eat your chihuahua. I'm kidding. They don't eat the dogs. And then moving on, this one I like a lot too. This is the Clinton Lumber Kings. That's the old school logo. I like that one better than the new one and that's their mascot right there. And then the tin caps out of Fort Wayne. The funny thing about this is that they have Tom Brady as their mascot. Looks like him. Same jaw structure. And then Savannah Sand Nats. This one's kind of weird. This reminds me of Batman and Robin. Robin mixed with like Jurassic Park. It's just, I'm still kind of coming to grips with that one. How about the Auburn Double Days? I dig this one. I love the old school design, the old school name, Double Days. And you know the mascot? Pretty cool too. Look at those chops. That's a cool looking mascot. And then you have the Vermont Lake Monsters. This is one of my favorite ones. Also, I dig the design. It's family friendly. And look at that. That'd be a kick-ass shirt. And here's their mascot doing the pose. Looking good. Now, the Las Vegas 51s with the alien. You're never going to guess their mascot. I'm going to scare you. I'm going to bum you out. Jar Jar Binks is in the minor leagues as a mascot. Annie! And now we have the Omaha Storm Chasers. That's a really cool logo. I really like the bat through the tornado. And there's the mascots. And then we're moving on to the Topeka Train Robbers. That's a really cool logo. Toledo Mud Hens. And let's check out their mascots. Kind of cool looking. I like the design. It's pretty, pretty kick-ass. Then you got the Chattanooga Lookouts. This is another pretty basic design but still really cool minor league logo and there's their mascot with the giant cap on his hat that's louie then you got the frisco rough riders kind of going old school with teddy roosevelt not sure how many people like that nowadays 
And then you got the Lehigh Valley Iron Pigs. Look at their mascots. You got to see these mascots straight out of the freaking Muppets. All right, now moving on to the Wichita Wingnuts. And their um, mascot is Spinner. It is a cool looking mascot. And you got the El Paso Chihuahuas. And here's their mascot. Now I'm going to take you down a little bit further down the minor league uh, rabbit hole. Here's the Bativia Muck Dogs. And this is their mascot. It's kind of funny, kind of cool looking. I like it. Um, and then you got the Modesto Nuts. Yeah, this one's going to be Dangerous Grounds, but I'll keep it PG. There it is, their mascots right there. And then one of my favorites, the Rocket City Trash Pandas. Sprocket straight out of Guardians of the Galaxy, kind of Darth Vader and Grouch from Sesame Street mix. And then you got the normal Corn Belters. And here's their mascot. I didn't look up his name but it's interesting uh corn dinosaur then you got the hartford yard goats and i'm sorry to take you down the rabbit hole and further if you're on acid this is going to be a bad trip for you that is the craziest looking mascots i've ever seen it's just creepy and then you have one of my favorite the rocky mountain vibes that's toasty the s'mores mascot yeah going to a game eating s'mores watching baseball come on that doesn't get any better than that hey toasty now, before we reveal my favorite minor league team and some honorable mentions, again, I'm going to ask you to subscribe. Please support our channel. Now, these are some of the oldest minor league teams. We've went over a couple of these, but these are the oldest ones in minor league baseball. Now, it's very impressive that some of these teams have been around for so long, but in this day and age, major league baseball and the status of the minor leagues, there's a lot of changes going on. And most often time, these minor league teams will change their names. They'll move on to different cities. So some of these I'm showing you today are no longer around. Now for some honorable mentions, this is one of my favorite new ones. This is the Amarillo Sod Poodles. That's hilarious. And then you got the Albuquerque Isotopes. You've got the Akron Rubber Ducks that are super cool. Savannah Bananas. Say that 10 times fast. And then you have the Fort Myers Mighty Muscles. If you like muscles, that's the game to go watch. And then the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. That's a great name. And then the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. That's an awesome one. You got the old school Portland Sea Dogs, followed by the Norwich Sea Unicorns. It's actually a really cool t-shirt design. And then finally, my number one favorite minor league team, the Montgomery Biscuits. This is a team that actually launches biscuits into the crowds. There is Big Mo. And look at this. Doesn't that look good? And you got players, alumni like David Price, Evan Longoria, because it's a Rays organization. And then there's Monty. Monty the Biscuit. I mean, imagine going to a game and eating just yummy biscuits. It'd be a great experience. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment. Thank you very much for watching the video. Have yourself a great day.